You know what it's been? It's been one of those days, but for about five months now. And I'm not even exaggerating. Hi guys. Uh, today we're gonna do another Dollar Tree haul. I cannot believe. <laughs> I don't know why, but today for some reason I was thinking about how long I've been doing Dollar Tree hauls. It is. It has been um, seven years. Is that right? It's six or seven years on YouTube. Okay, I've been buying from Dollar Tree for about 20 years, which is insane. But anyways, but before we get started, if anybody is going to ask about my top, it is actually from Walmart. I did a Walmart, um, did I do a try on of the Walmart stuff? Girl, I don't even remember. But I will try to find the video and link it down below for you. But I don't know if this happens to you guys or not, but the weather is very rainy and cold here in Dallas. And lately it's just been um, making me, I guess, a lot more calmer, maybe a little bit more slower paced. Um, yeah, so I feel like this video is going to have that same kind of quality. I'm not going to try to rush through anything. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you actually love the longer videos. So this one's definitely for you. So yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go with the flow, I guess. But okay, let me show you guys the container. So I did like a whole container organization video. I labeled it with that title actually. And I was talking about those containers and I think I had only gotten the green one and then I found them in this size and these actually come two to a pack which I really love uh, so here's the green one again I have it in the bigger one and it has that scallop trim you can see it's like a little bucket style which would be really cute you could definitely do treats and you know maybe send it off to school for your kids teacher or you know a neighbor or whatever um, super cute and you've got deers on here and snowflakes yes i know it's not actually deers with an s then here is the snowflake one so this is the one that i did not show you guys in that original video but i love the blue very very pretty and then here is the red version which has a bunch of um holiday phrases so you get christmas joy cheer merry little christmas peace Calm, all is calm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see because they've like they're double layered of the buckets, but really, really cute. The green is still my favorite. I don't know why this green one is speaking to me the most, but I also love the snowflakes. So those are really cute. For me, I'll probably end up doing gifts. Like, I think I'm automatically thinking. For one of them, I'm gonna do like a little nail kit gift, you know, some cotton rounds, some cotton balls, nail polishes, things like that. Maybe even like bath bombs, like spa beauty stuff for some of them. Then you can actually also fill them up with like really fun candies. That would be really cute too. Um, so I'll probably end up doing that. Actually, speaking of candies, I found this box of the Christmas candies that they're putting out and I found it really interesting because I don't think I've ever seen the trolley brand do sour trees. That's not to say they haven't, um, but this is the first time I've ever seen them. So I think the sour trees are really, really cute. And my Dollar Trees, I think, are just now putting out the Christmas candy, so I can't wait to go back and go through those. They have some interesting novelty kind of kinds of candy. That would just look really beautiful if you did like a candy charcuterie board which actually i've done that i've done that on my channel i think it was last year the year before i did a whole dollar tree christmas candy charcuterie board i'll link it down below i loved making those so definitely go check out that video and yeah anyways i guess i was just saying that i would i would do candies in those little bins too I picked up another set of these LED emergency candles. They're the kind that come two to a pack and have the little stand as well. They sell like the tall single ones, um, but those I don't think comes with stands. Um, 
but I'll be buying some of those too, I think, in the in the future. But I wanted to get a couple of these to put throughout my library. I thought that during Christmas, it would give off a really beautiful glow and make the area very cozy. And you get 100 total hours. So you get 50 hours in each of these. And I be it requires two AAA batteries. So FYI. So there's that and then I found another one of these snuggle like air fresheners and it is their Christmas edition also limited edition and it's the cozy evergreen I've been really obsessed with these lately I think they just smell so good and I've always loved candles and things like that but as I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or, or what it is, to be honest. Like, I have no clue. I'm not trying to, like, you know, dive too deep in, into something like this. But I get more and more excited about candles and scents. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. But this Cozy Evergreen is definitely speaking my name. I'm not going to open it, but I, but I really do want to smell it. So, I don't know. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it and at least tell you guys what, what I think. The thing is, is that the whole package comes off, but it's really nice and simple. Honestly, it has like a farmhouse-y look for me, but I don't know why. Every time I see something, it's farmhouse anyway, so. Oh my gosh. It's good. It's good. It's, I don't think it's overpowering and actually... I feel like this top is supposed to pop off. I don't think you're actually supposed to pull it up like that. I don't know. I think I think there's something about it, this top that's supposed to come up and I I really don't know how it works. Am I right or wrong? I don't know. Somebody let me know. But I always thought that you're supposed to just twist it like this and then like there you go, but I don't think that's it. I think it's supposed to come off of this top. But anyways, uh, the smell, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, definitely. Okay, the next two things, I think you guys saw it in my shop with me video. Know that I got a shot of these two in there and I had to pick them up. They're definitely doing that checkered buffalo look. And then we're getting the plaid as well, which is my favorite. But, I mean, look how cute these are. Darling, these would fit really well in a tear tray. If you're going to do one of those, they're going to look great maybe on like a vignette, like an island vignette style, or even on your fireplace mantle entryway. These are just going to, I think, look cute anywhere. I found some new candies at Dollar Tree, and they're packaged really cute too. has that old-fashioned look to them, and they're taffies. So one is creamsicle and then one is watermelon, which I've never tried a watermelon taffy before. This is the Old Fashioned Forbes Premium Brand Taffy. I've never heard of this brand before, but if you have, let me know um, if I got a great deal for a dollar. But I just, I love the packaging. I love the simplicity of it as well, and I think it would look gorgeous in a gift basket. The question is, are there more flavors at Dollar Tree? Because this was all that I found. If you know, if you've seen them, comment down below and let me know what other flavors you've seen. Because I'm definitely going to want to go grab those because I want to do a gift basket. So I picked those up with that thought in mind. And then I picked up some toys for my niece. And I went in for the little construction play set. And she is very girly, but this girl also loves talking about anything construction. Whenever we're, like, if she's in the car with me, she's always like, where are the cranes? Where are the cranes? She loves the cranes, and she loves the bulldozers. And honestly, I think that's because of Blippi a lot. She watches Blippi a lot. And actually, she corrected me. I was like, oh, there's a bulldozer. And she was like, no, that's an excavator. And I was like... Oh, she's two. I'm 38. So that happened. And anyways, I thought that she would just 
absolutely love these. I wish there was a little crane to this set, but I couldn't find it. But I did find these and you get the two little trucks. One looks like a little cement truck and then a little like Jeep, which is really cute. So I don't know, hopefully she likes it, but I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for more construction toys because I know, I know she's gonna love them. Um, okay, then I found a new glass what are they calling this is this for a candle or is this for drinking glass i mean obviously it could probably be for both just due to the size but the print on it i don't know if you guys can is it okay there we go what how cute is that i mean it says whiskey but there's like this farm on there which i really like quality absolutely guaranteed um whiskey extra special I think this is a really cool glass jar and maybe if someone you know loves drinking whiskey, this would look great in a gift basket. So this would be one of those opportunities to definitely go to your Dollar Trees and search for this product because, I mean, it was a dollar. That's just nuts. And maybe you could put like little bottles, like those little, you know, airplane-like bottles of whiskey in here and that would be really cute. Keep it simple. Um, so there's that concept but also if you just have like a kitchen where you have you know like the glass cabinet doors where you could see your your dinnerware maybe getting a couple of these would look really nice in there too so i don't know love that love that find and i'm gonna definitely do i'm gonna give that away and i am gonna do like little bottles of whiskey i think that would be really cute um then i found another one of their uh, premium quality essential oils, but it's limoncello and this limoncello scent is probably one of my Like favorites especially to use in the kitchen bat bath and body works does a really good limoncello and I haven't smelled this so let's open it. Oh That's good That's a really really nice smell actually really really nice i'm gonna, definitely gonna have to go pick up another one of those and maybe another a third one um because i'm gonna be doing a lot of gift baskets i don't know if i'm gonna share all of them though on my channel but um I'm, i think i need to pick up another one of those so the smell 10 out of 10 for me love that one too is the camera a little dark i don't know Are you if you guys watch all of my hauls then you're gonna know what I'm talking about. If you haven't watched the video where I showed you guys the jot markers, the permanent markers, I was so impressed with those jot permanent markers. Then I found the jot regular markers. So these aren't permanent, they're just the regular markers and I found the thin set and then the thicker set. I mean, look at the colors that we get. I'm gonna be inserting a clip overlay of just testing these out and riding with them um, so I'll also leave a comment and let you guys know if I think that it's really good or what but I have really high hopes for these I'm getting back into planners I asked you guys on Instagram what videos you want to see more from me I mean hands down it was kind of a tie between cleaning videos and planner videos so um, comment down below too for those of you who missed taking the poll over on my Instagram. Comment down below and let me know what uh, videos you want to see from me. But I definitely got these jot markers in mind for planners. So hopefully I end up liking them. Uh, but yeah, you get fine line assorted. The amount of colors in here are crazy. So if this turns out to be a good deal and if I gave you guys a thumbs up on this, I would most likely... <laughs> put this on my Dollar Tree list and make sure it's one of the first things um, I pick up. So anyways, all right, so let's move on. I got a couple sheets of stickers. I think just these two. So when my niece comes over, we created this thing. We just created like a sticker book and I just tell him like, oh, here's your sticker book. Put all your stickers into the book and it keeps her busy for ever. So I got her some more cute little stickers and I found this little set. You guys know I love anything foodie and cute and cartoony like this. They're just so adorable. I mean, look at the eggs and bacon. If that doesn't send you into orbit, I don't know what will. 
There's even, I think this is a waffle. I don't know. It definitely doesn't look like toast. And then there's s'mores in here. What? This is really cute. I should have picked up a second one. So yeah, love these. I can't wait for her to play with that one. And then I found this little set that I thought she would think was cute too. It just has a bunch of little animals driving vehicles and hot air balloons and there's construction trucks and dump trucks and look at this little zebra in his farmhouse um red truck carrying fruit oh my gosh that's adorable that's adorable there's traffic lights there's mice there's alligators this is a really cute set also feel like that one's new and this one is definitely new i got this one for me and i love these so jot again it's my favorite brand dollar tree fyi and they do these little sticker sheets where they do the three i have all of them but this one definitely stood out and looked new so i picked it up and it has a little travel theme super cute and then the third sheet is always the alpha set so and that's awesome you get two almost two of each letter not every letter got got two but there you go i mean for a dollar that's amazing because planning can get expensive so it's nice to find some really great products at dollar tree then i found a magnetic planner i think i've yeah i've definitely bought these before from dollar tree the entire back is magnetic so i'm gonna slap this one on the fridge for me but it had strawberries it had strawberries and i definitely had to pick it up i love strawberries it's really really cute i love the gingham this definitely has like a summertime vibe to it but i wasn't i wasn't gonna walk away without it has Monday through Sunday. And the weekend is divided into two days on this one last line. So I did find other prints, but I only picked up the strawberry one. Okay, the next item I got for planning. I needed a set of rulers for my bullet journal and I found these for three for a dollar. And I also love the colors. I love that they're transparent too because I feel like those are the best kind so that you can still see you know, through the ruler in some parts. I think that's really helpful. So these were just perfection. And I love, I love the colors. The colors are just great. Green, blue, and pink. Yeah, so three for a dollar, can't beat that. And then I bought some more of these little blind bags. They're my favorite. They've become my favorite things to shop for when it comes to my niece. Because honestly, like I get a thrill out of them too. There's actually, youtubers whose channels are just that's it they do blind bags and you just see their hands and they open up these bags and they show you the collection and then you follow along and watch them complete the collection it's it's kind of like my guilty pleasure but it's so soothing and calming to watch i don't know if it's up your alley just search up blind bag openings or something like that along the lines on on youtube but these are um a new set unicorn dolls you guys have never heard of unicorn dolls and i guess the gold one is really rare and there's nine dolls to collect and it shows you all the dolls and obviously you don't know who you get because the bags are closed and i got five bags for my niece so unfortunately i'm not gonna um open all them up but you know what let's open up one together how about that so let's see Let's go ahead and pop this open and see who we got. Oh, and they are super cute. Look how cute she is. And in the back, she has little wings. You guys, that's darling. And we got Jessie. So if you're to look on the back, we got her. So we got Jessie in the collection. Anyways, so there's that. And then the last couple of things, also for my niece, but you guys, these are, if you have children or you feel like you know somebody who would love these, these are a must pick up for a dollar. These are a, um, okay, 
they look like bath bombs, but that's, I don't think that's the concept, okay? Um, I don't know. Yeah, this is not a bath toy. The labels literally say that. So uh, this is basically where you just get a bucket kind of thing, and then you drop these into there, and I guess you watch what unfolds because there's a toy on the inside. Yeah, so you get some sort of toy. It's a mystery splasher surprise. So do not put these in the bathtub with your kids. Uh, just find a little bucket, throw these in, and then you'll get some sort of toy. And then as you can see, they all have different colors, green, blue, purple, and orange. I think there might have been more colors. I'm not entirely sure, but those were the ones that I picked up. Okay, that's it. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hold on, let me... Let me take a last look. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But I'm very excited about the markers. Hopefully through editing, I let you guys know. I mean, this is like me. I'm gonna film that clip next basically. So I like talking right now, I have no idea if I liked it. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you like shorter videos, longer videos too. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what videos you would like to see on this channel from me since you guys missed the poll over on Instagram. So drop those um, requests down below and I'm gonna read through all of them. And yeah, so that's it. I'll see you guys next time, bye.